Let's take a look at exercise two. And this is a hyperbolic par paraboloid generated from lines. And we're asked, show that if the point ABC lies on the hyperbolic paraboloid Z equals Y squared minus X squared, then the lines with parametric equations, X equals A plus T, Y equals B plus T, and Z equals Z plus two times B minus A T. Yeah, and the other line, X equals A plus T, same thing, Y equals B minus T, so minus there instead. And then Z equals Z, uh, C minus two uh, the times B plus A times T. Both lie entirely on this paraboloid. In other words, we can make a paraboloid <laughs> using two lines. This shows that the hyperbolic paraboloid is what is called a ruled surface. That is, it can be generated by the motion of a straight line. In fact, this exercise shows that through each point of the paraboloid, a uh, hyper, hyperboloid, hyperbolic paraboloid, hyper, hyperbolic paraboloid, there are two generating lines. Uh, the only other quadric surfaces that are ruled surfaces are cylinders, cones, and hyperboloids of one sheet. And this is the one that was actually the uh, hyperboloid gears. If we go back here to the applications, and that's this one here. This is of one sheet, and these are all made of straight lines. So that's pretty epic stuff. And then uh, you can do rotation there and gears and, and so on. So you could, uh, uh, yeah, that'd be pretty epic. I'm going to learn more about that. Anyways, going further. So let's take a look at this. Show that, show that this hyperboloid, so again, there's a minus sign, it's a, the hyperbolic paraboloid. It's a minus sign, and this is uh, Z is one uh, by itself. Uh, so let's take a look at that. So solution, a recall, and show that these lines uh, all, all coincide on it. So recall the equation of a hyperbolic paraboloid. It looks like that saddle. So you have Z over C equals X squared minus, uh, divided by A squared minus Y squared, uh, divided by B squared. And horizontal traces are hyperbolas. Vertical traces are parabolas. So the horizontal ones are hyperbolas. So this one, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal on the other side. Like that, those are hyperbolas. And then the vertical ones, if you cut it anywhere, it's going to be a parabola. It's going to be parabola, parabola, and then also a parabola on this other uh, axis. That's cool stuff. And the case where uh, C is less than zero is illustrated. It looks like that. And yeah, so if C is zero, uh, C is less than zero, then this negative is going to be, here's the Y is going to be positive and uh, X is going to be negative. And that's actually similar to ours. So th th this is going to look just like ours then. So this will be a similar R shape where C is less than zero. If C is positive, you're going to have X there. there. It's going to be shifted around where the top part's expanding on this side, the bottom part's expanding on the other side. Anyways, so recall the parametric equations of a line. Just recall it. So, because we're given parametric equations. It's right here. X plus uh, AT, Y equals that. So recall uh, what they were from my earlier video. Here's a link to it. Here's a thumbnail. Pretty much explains what it is. So here's in vector form, r equals r naught plus t, and then the parallel vector. So this is the equation. This is r this is the line equals to r naught, the starting vector, plus the variable t times it by this parallel vector, and it goes across there, like that. And that's the equation of a line. And you can write this as uh, uh, in this uh, bracket form, meaning a vector x y z. So just point on there x y z. And you can also break it up into its components. So x0, zero, y0, zero, z0, zero, a vector plus t times a plus b plus c. And then you can add these up, these vectors. So x0 plus ta uh, plus y0 plus tb plus, and then the next one z0 plus tc as a vector. And then you can separate these and you get these parametric equations. So x equals x0 plus at, y equals y0 plus bt, z equals z0 plus ct. So that's our parametric equation. All right, so uh, let's plug in the first set of parametric equations of a line into the given equation of a hyperbolic paraboloid. So we go back up to our equations. Hyperbolic uh, paraboloid z equals y squared minus x squared. Then you have the parametric equations uh, x uh, a plus t, b plus t, and then uh, this one's z um, c plus 2 b a t. All right, so we have z uh, equals to y squared minus uh, x squared, like that, and also uh, note that uh, we know that A, B, C are on that are on it. So we're given that point A, B, C lies on this. So in other words, we can just plug all those inside, and they should all equal. In other words, we should have C equals to well, uh, uh, this is Y, so it's going to be B squared minus A squared, like that. So so because A, B, C are on this hyperbolic parabola. 
All right, so now let's get our line. Our line's gonna be x equals two, a plus t. Then we have y is equal to b plus t, b plus t, and then z is equal to c plus two, b minus a, t. All right, so now let's put these in together. So we're gonna get uh, z is gonna be c plus two, b minus a, t equals two, and then x is, uh, yeah, well, y is first, so, uh, b plus t squared minus x is gonna be a plus t squared. And now we could just expand these ones out. That's just gonna be simply, uh, well, b squared plus, and then b times t twice, two b t, and then minus, oh, well, the plus here for the next one, plus t squared. The next one here now is uh, the same thing, but there's a negative everywhere. There's a negative sign. So we're gonna have a squared and then a times t twice, minus two a t, and then minus t squared. All right, now we close this off, close this off. We're gonna get, uh, yeah, those cancel. And now we're gonna get a b squared. There's a minus there, a squared. And also look at the like terms of this one, two and two t. So we can remove that out. We're gonna remove two and t, I'll put that t soon. We're gonna get b minus a, t. In other words, and then bring this down, this is gonna be equals to c plus two b minus a t. Now this cancels, this cancels. So we're left with c is equal to b squared minus a squared. And that's exactly the point on the, on the hyperbolic parabola. So there it is, c equals b squared minus a squared. And uh, yeah, so going further, so since the point ABC is on the hyperbolic paraboloid, then the line is also on it. Yeah, so this is on it. So this means this whole line is on that hyperbolic paraboloid at all times. So similarly, for the other set of parametric equations we get, and let's see the only difference between it. So uh, A plus T and then B minus T, and then we'll have this uh, the, the C minus two, and then there's a plus A there. All right, so let's write down what we get here. So we get our z is equal to y squared minus x squared. And then similarly, again, we have our point on our curve, x, b squared, a squared. And then our line is gonna be x equals two, a plus t. y is gonna be different, y equals uh, b minus t, b minus t, and then z is equal to, this is gonna be c minus two b um, plus, a t so this the minus is switch so remember this was a plus then a minus now we're going to get a minus and a plus all right and then let's do that so again it'd be very similar to the other setup and then put those inside so we're going to get a c minus 2 b plus a t is equal to uh and then this is going to be uh y squared this is going to be b minus t squared minus x, which is a plus t squared, like this. This equals to b squared is gonna be b, uh, multiply this out, b squared. Now this is a uh, multiplied twice, it's gonna be negative two b t, and then a negative b, a negative t times negative t is gonna be plus t squared. Now the ne next part here is gonna be negative everywhere. Let's go a squared, and then a, two, uh, a times t twice, minus two a t and then a, a minus t a, a minus t squared. All right. Like this, cancel, cancel. This equals two b squared minus a squared. And then, uh, yeah, that's b squared minus a squared and then take out the like terms. And the like terms are gonna be the negative two and t and negative two and t. So we'll take out the negative two. This becomes positive b plus a, and there's a t that we took out. And this is gonna be c minus two b plus a t. Uh, let's bring that down. We'll put it like this, bring it down. This cancels, this cancels. And again, same thing. We get c is equal to b squared minus a squared. So this line is also on the hyperbolic parabola. So that's uh, epic stuff there. Uh, thus, we have two sets of lines on the hyperbolic paraboloid. And uh, writing the lines in vector form, we can then plot them with GeoGebra. So let's recap quickly on that. So we have uh, the lines are, are given in a parametric equation. So we just got to go backwards 
and then write them uh, out like this. Here, so basically, a point on it here, and then plus t times, and then uh, yeah, plus t times uh, just a parallel vector in there. All right, so let's go further and let's write this down. So first, let's write our equation z equals uh, y squared minus x squared. So that's our hyperbolic paraboloid. So let's go line one. This one is uh, for this. Here's the parametric equations: x equals uh, a plus t, and then uh, we had uh, y equals b plus t, and then z is equal to c plus uh, yes, yeah, z z plus two b minus a t. All right, and then uh, basically writing this in uh, vector form, we'll call this r one. This equals to uh, this is going to be a point on it, so that's going to be point a, b in, in vector form c, and then so we basically separated everything, take the t out. This is going to be now um, one. One and then the next one's going to be two b minus a like that. All right, and uh, here let's just bold this one out. We'll just box that in. And uh, the next line, line two. This was the same thing. X equals a plus t, but then it was y equals b minus t, and then we had z equals to z, uh, c minus two b plus a t. All right, so separating this, we get, well, R2 in vector form equals to A, B, C, so point on the line, plus T, and this is going to be 1, erase this bracket, 1, negative 1, and then we're going to have negative 2, and then B plus A, like that. All right, let's just uh, box this in as well. All right, and now finally, uh, we can graph this in GeoGebra. And so here's our equation, z equals uh, y squared minus x squared. And then what I did was, I just uh, used the variables l, m, and n, just because I already used a, b, and c in my uh, earlier exercise, and I'm using the same link here. So we'll just use l, n, uh, l m, n. So this one is x. Oh, I mean, this is a, this is b. And then uh, this one is C, yeah. So that's uh, A, B, C, and you can see that here. So we have uh, L zero, uh, M is zero. Uh, just we could uh, slide it uh, across and see the different uh, lines that are formed. And then the N or C is equal to M squared, which is Y minus L squared, which is the uh, the A squared. So in this case, in this case, we have zero, zero, and zero. And the line to put it in uh, in GeoGebra, you, you could use uh, two lines right here. I mean, two points on the line. So line one is L, M, and N. And then another line is just when uh, this lambda, or this is actually t, just set it equal to 1, and then plug that in. So we'll have l plus t is just l plus 1, m plus 1, n plus uh, 2m minus l, like that. And then same thing for here, uh, l2 is l, m, and n, then l plus 1, m minus 1, n minus 2, m, m plus l. These are just points on a line. And they automatically graph this point, uh, uh, I mean, they automatically calculate the vector equation like this. So we'll have... Zero, 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 and then lambda one, negative one, and zero. The, the first line is uh, one, one, and zero, and there's that lambda or t. It becomes like that, yeah. So if you plug in uh, uh, zero right here, if a is zero, you're gonna have, yes, yeah, so this is gonna be zero, zero, and zero, and then this one will be just one when you have t is one, uh, and then this one's gonna be yeah, zero plus one, this one's gonna be zero plus, and then it's gonna be vanishes all zero. Hence, you'll have the zero there. All right. Now here's how the line looks like. So th those are just the basic line at the from the point at the origin zero zero zero. And look and, and notice how it cuts perfectly in line with this saddle or this hyperbolic paraboloid. And let's go and graph this out. So here's the this is actually the sphere uh, or the the Earth from my earlier exercise. If I plug this in, it gets really big. And then here and here. So we got to zoom in a whole lot because uh, we're and then I'll hide this. And now we got to zoom in because we the scale was for the Earth was six thousand kilometers. Uh, the radius uh, 6,000 plus. So we got to zoom all the way in until we can see this setup here. So we're going in and in. Keeps going. Yeah, just to illustrate the scale. All right, we are almost there. All right, there it is. That's pretty cool there. And notice the line is perfectly in line with it. And we can shift this down. Whoops. Yeah, just shift this here, and then uh, rotate it. Click this and rotate. So it looks something like that. 
And now what, now what we could do is we could adjust, we could slide this value. If we slide M, then all, all the values or the end is going to change. So you're going to have a line that's like this and it's going to be, uh, it's still going to be on it though. And uh, yeah, so you could move it around and see the line there and we could change this L or the A. And notice the lines change. Yeah, so that's pretty uh, cool stuff there. And uh, yes, yeah, so the lines change and you can see, still see it's always going to be on the, uh, the hyperboloid. So you change it up and you could press play see what happens here. Press play is this one as well. See what happens. So it's always going to be on the line. Yeah. So it's literally on the line always, which is a, quite amazing. So you can make this all with lines. That is called a, um, a ruled surface, which is uh, quite amazing. All right. Stop and stop. Epic stuff. All right. So I'll continue further. Yeah. So that is all. And that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty epic, epic stuff there. And hopefully you enjoyed.